we're going to go over how is it that we can graph any kind of equation that it does not look of the form y equals mx plus b. Obviously, all of them are going to be linear equations. So here we have our first example. I have graphed the equation 6x plus 2y equals 8. So first of all, this equation does not follow the equation y equals mx plus b. And this is basically the only form that we know how to graph. So the way that we are going to do this is by taking my equation 6x plus 2y equals 8 and change it into y equals mx plus b. How's that going to look like? Well, we're going to write our equation 6x plus 2y equals 8. And we are going to solve for y. We're going to leave the letter y alone on one side. Okay, so the first step that we're going to do in order to leave the y alone is to cancel the 6x. How? With negative 6x. What I do to one side, I do to the other. So the x's are going to cancel on this side. I'm going to have 2y equals, and I'm going to put my x's first. Remember, this is a number, that's an x. They cannot combine. They're not like terms. So I'm going to say negative 6x plus 8. And then I need to cancel the number 2. So I divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2. So my equation, negative 6 divided by 2, is negative 3x plus 8 divided by 2, 4. So this will actually be the equation that I need to graph. Let's not forget that 4 or b, this is my y-intercept, and the negative 3 is actually my slope, which is rise over run. So we are going to start from our y-intercept, our starting point, which is a 4. That tells me that in this line, I'm going to go to y4 right here. And that's where I'm going to start. From here, I'm going to use my slope, rise over run. That's a negative 3 over invisible 1, which means that I'm going to go 3 down, 1, 2, 3, and then 1 to the right. So this will be the second point on my line. And that way, I can connect my two points. And that will be my linear function, okay? Let's do one more problem together. Here we have graph the equation y plus 3 equals 2 parentheses x plus 5. Again, we have the same problem. My equation is not on the form y equals mx plus b. Remember, this is basically the only thing that we know how to graph because it's easier for us. So we're going to do the same. We're going to take this equation, y plus 3 equals 2 parentheses x plus 5. And we are going to solve for y, meaning leave the y alone. So in this case, we're going to start a little bit different. Since we have parentheses, we're going to solve the parentheses first. So 2 times x, 2x. Two, 2 times 5 positive 10. On the other side, nothing happens, so everything stays the same, y plus 3. Now, I'm going to solve. How? I'm going to cancel my 3. How? With the negative 3. And I'm going to subtract 3 to the th 10. Why? Because this is uh, 2x. These are x's, so numbers go with numbers, so it'll be 10 minus 3. And that's going to cancel the 3's on this side. I'm going to have 2x here, and then on this, 10 minus 3 is positive 7. Okay, so now I know the two things that I need to know. My y-intercept or starting point, or b, and also my slope, 
or m which is my rise over run so we're going to start with our starting point which is a seven which is up here and then from this point we're going to follow our rise over run which in this case it'll be rise two run one because there's an invisible one down here so if I try to go from my starting point, two up and one over, I'm out of space. So there's a trick for that. When you run out of space, there's something you can do. You can do the opposite of everything. Like in this case, it's telling me that my rise is two, my run is one, which means two up, one to the right. Now, this will be exactly the same if I do the opposite. So instead of going up, I'm gonna go down. And instead of going to the right, I'm gonna go to the left. So this is the way that it's going to look like. From my starting point, I'm gonna do two down, I'm doing the opposite, and one to the right, I'm doing the opposite as well. And this will be another point. After that, we can connect our two points, and that will be the linear function that we are talking about.